Now I've been a Twitter user for over 10 years and it's the first app that I open when I wake up and the last app I check before I go to sleep. In other words, you can call me a power user. I don't have too many social media apps, presence aside from Twitter and it's for the first time that I'm actually concerned about the future of a social network. Let me explain. So Elon Musk recently bought Twitter on October 27, he closed the deal for $44 billion. Obviously, he overpaid for the company, but I think he tried to walk back on it by trying to weasel out of the deal, but the Twitter board threatened to sue him and eventually he was forced to purchase it. So here we are today, he bought the company, $44 billion. Not all of it is his own money, keep that in mind. He's actually borrowing money in order to buy this. He sold a lot of Tesla shares and he was able to get a few partners in this in order to help him with the purchase. After Elon bought the company, he immediately began to make moves. So first thing he did was that he removed all the board members from the Twitter board. So that includes the CEO, CFO, all of the chief fact checker, all of that. Everybody was removed. So he's now the sole director and the, well, temporary CEO of Twitter. This gives him complete control over the company from its finances to tech. So this, just this week, Elon made a couple of huge moves within the company that's made headlines. One of the things that I kind of find weird as an engineer is the fact that he asked all the engineers to print out their code from last 30 to 60 days. So you can, they could show it to Elon Musk himself. Well, along with a couple of Tesla engineers that he brought over to code review, basically. And this is actually real. You actually have to print out your code that you've written for the past 30 days. Now, I've been in, a, I mean, I've been in this industry for over a decade, and I am a software engineer. I've never printed out my code before. I've never code review with someone by printing out my, po my code on paper. This is all very, very weird to me. And I'm sure it's going to be weird. Well, it is weird for a ton of engineers within Twitter. Now, I read the Twitter engineering blog and all the stuff that I open source regularly. So I know they have very, very good talent over there. Really, really smart people people who knows what's happening. So I'm sure I'm not the only one who's saying that now, but here's my take on what exactly is going on. So you have to think about what Elon's thinking. Elon is not dumb. He's not the richest man in the world by being dumb. Although he tends to troll sometimes, like this one, like this one, for example. Um, these two are trolls, but Elon, you know, made a joke out of it. But He's smart and he knows what he's doing. And I think he knows exactly why he's doing it. So the reason I think he's doing this to have people print out their code and review it with Tesla engineers. Now keep in mind that um, engineers for the web delivery, like Twitter platform versus an engineer in a self-driving car is very, very different. Although they're both in the discipline of engineering, when you're an engineer of, of a car company, you deal with very different things compared to an engineer dealing with a company platform like Twitter. So having an engineer who has no idea what the code base is about on Twitter to and review your code with them, it's going to be very, very weird experience. So let's get back to it. So why is Tw Elon doing it? Oh, by the way, here's a picture of the author of OAuth who works at Twitter actually printing out her iOS code <laughs> at Twitter. So this is sort of confirmed with this picture. Uh, this is pretty weird. Anyway, oh, by the way, just a sponsor. It's sponsored by DigitalOcean. So if you guys need a good server service, it costs like $5 a month for your <laughs> server, you can spin this up on DigitalOcean. Go here, click on Droplet, which is another word for server. You can open it in any location of your choice. Uh, any OS of your choice. We even have uh, pre-existing snapshots. If you want WordPress, whatever, one-click setup. Oh, it's super, super nice. I've been using it for over a decade. So 
seven dollars a month for regular uh, for premium but uh, regular SSD is even cheaper it's like six months a month so please check it out the link is in my description you get two hundred dollars of free credits when you sign up and then you can play around with this store your things on this server a lot of it is oh awesome so check it out they have kubernetes as well managed databases as well and they have storage systems so great uh, not to mention it comes with great monitoring check it out in the link, link in the description below anyway back to the service this story so the whole reason elon's doing this is that he's trying to gauge who's actually loyal to him who can actually put up the crazy demand that he's putting out remember elon's the guy who claimed that he slept in the factory during the early days of tesla in order to keep up with delivery so he's the ceo even though he's super rich he doesn't have to do any of it he actually slept in the lot in the factory along with the engineers in order to deliver their product so i think elon's trying to bring the same type of mindset to twitter to see who can actually do this and in the end whoever stuck with him will be the ones who will go with him to build this new platform this twitter the new town square of the world he claims so um the new directive there's a lot of words coming out right now is that a lot of employees were given a week to rewrite the twitter blue subscription system a week now if you're an engineer I mean, a week is not a long time to come up with a new system or updating an existing system to whatever the ceo wants so obviously he knows this is not possible but he wants to know who can actually stuck around and do it it's sort of like a, a military boot camp to see who can do these things so in the end whoever is not gonna put out with it whoever is not up to his standard of engineering they will get fired so as a moment this is a friday elon already began a mass layoff at twitter about 7,500 employees will have to get cut. That's about 50% of the workforce. And this is a huge, huge layoff. And I think from Elon's perspective, so he current he borrowed a lot of money to buy Twitter and his interest at borrowing the money is over a billion dollars a year. So he has to begin to do some cost cutting at Twitter and make Twitter profitable in order to pay back the loans. And Recently, he also did propose an $8 a month for the blue check on Twitter if you want to be a power user. So it's he's already thinking about revenue and way to generate the revenue for Twitter. Anyway, so he's already begun the layoff of the people, of employees, 7,500 people. That's a lot of people. So what would this do to the workforce? Well, if you are looking for a job right now, it's going to be tougher. You're going to have a lot of people in the workforce and Twitter is not the only company doing the cutting a lot of tech companies are doing the cutting right now so also companies are slowing down the hiring so as you can imagine it's a perfect storm you're not you're gonna have a lot of people looking for so many little jobs so you're gonna have a lot of competitions when you go out and look for jobs this is completely different than a year ago where jobs were plenty and money was plenty you get a lot of money for switching jobs Anyway, so Elon's doing this to cause cuts and try to find out who the loyal people in Twitter is. And in the end, he will be left with people who are loyal to Twitter, loyal to Elon. And I think that's the only way for a company like that to work under Elon. I think he sort of have this dicta dictatorship mentality because when you lead a company, you want people to be loyal to you in order to carry out your vision. And that's exactly what Elon's doing. And I think Elon's doing this with full knowledge of what's going to happen. And he definitely knows what he's doing. And it's only um, it's a good speculation to see what exactly will happen to Twitter in the near future. I'll be keeping an eye out on it. And I will want to hear what you guys think. What do you think is going to happen to Twitter? What do you think about what Elon's doing right now? And um, do you actually plan to work with Twitter on Twitter or apply to Twitter in the future as an engineer? Let me know in the comments below and I hope to see you guys in the next video.